Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Chooching on a Tuesday afternoon. And uh, it is really a nice day. Super comfortable out here. Sunny. Oh, we got a little bit of cloudiness, but uh, it is delightful. I have to dodge the shopping carts filled with crap here. Welcome to my hood. For those of you who are new to the channel, we have a lot of new people on here. And I'd like to welcome you and also the uh, Rosie O'Kelly channel too. I was walking along and I kept thinking, man, something smells. You know, you always got to be worried when you walk along and you just, I think I smell dog dew, you know, and you keep walking along. Your hope is just like something you're walking by on the ground and then you stop for you know, a couple hundred more feet and you still smell it. And then all of a sudden you get that sinking feeling like, yeah, well, <laughs> that happened to me, baby. Stepped in a nice big riser right there. That dog dropped a big, <laughs> a big bar right there. And I hit, looked like a damn horse, man. I just hit that thing square on in the middle. I guess I'll have to go home and uh, boil my shoes when I get home. Probably my feet, too. Come to the shopping cart, guys. Yep, the only way to fly, baby. Oh, God, I love this neighborhood. It is so colorful. <laughs> Scary looking dudes. Oh, man. It's nice out. It's the time of year I kind of, uh, I start to get a little little down at the mouth about the I can feel summer kind of sliding away and although don't get me wrong I love my favorite three months of the year October November and December because I love the holiday stuff I love Halloween I love putting up I like decorating and doing all that stuff <laughs> my, my fan club oh. I really enjoy that, but summertime, you know, is for me, is very special. And I know you oh, Rosie's a chance for you to bikini. Oh, yeah, I do love that, but uh, getting sunshine. I'm just, I'm one of those people that thrives, thrives on sun and good weather. I don't like, you know, my friend Tara lives down in San Diego. And Tara Boo, and she's like, oh, I, I love the rainy weather and stormy weather. I'm like, oh. Once in a while is okay, but uh, I like uh, I like good weather, good sunny weather all the time. So I really, you know, a lot of people ask me, Rosie, what are you going to do uh, when you're not working anymore? Well, I'll probably always be working from a distance, doing just consulting all the time because I have been so heavily involved in medicine for 20 years, just on an administrative side, nothing else. We got cops here. I don't know what the hell's going on down here. Well, we're gonna find out. There's something going on. Let's go check it out. Maybe he had an accident or something. These days, you gotta be real careful about sticking your camera around on the scene. Come on, George. Boy, do you still have this? Am I still driving one of those? Pontiac Aztec there. I guess the car broke down. I don't know. <clears throat> Glad I can feel summer kind of summer kind of slipping away. Oh shit! They got all these people double parked out here. Isn't that cute? They hold up traffic down the whole street. Yeah. Bad. Holding up traffic on a big road like that. Oh, I'll tell you, my high knees finally recovered. It's going to be funny. When I, we went to the, uh, I went to the Russian River on Sunday, and I'm going to be doing that more often. But uh, 
I didn't want to pay the seven dollars to park in the lot where the main beach is. I did that with Jen, of course. But you know, guys, seven bucks is seven bucks, right? <laughs> so I went through. I parked on the other side of the river, and I had to cross down over the river bank through the park where the homeless were. And uh, yeah. And I decided to try to get everything consolidated in a pile. So I'm standing above on the, you have to, there's this bluff overlooking the river and you have to, uh, you have to go down. It's a pretty steep slope. I mean, there's kind of something like a path there, but there's a lot of people with wet feet, and wet clothes and stuff tromping through. And, um, you know, so it gets very slick. So I took my, uh, I took my shirt I took, I had my bathing suit, my bikini on underneath. I took my shirt, I took everything. I took my shirt and I tied everything into a bundle. My, my shorts, my phone, everything, keys. I tied it all in one bundle. So it would be all together in case I spilled down the thing. Oh, I got down there about halfway, man, and I just, whoa. It looked like uh, it looked like one of those rides at the amusement park there, and uh, the people there were some people swimming at the at the bottom of it. <sighs> Man, I gave them a hell of a show, I'll tell you. I got up and I my ass cheek was so covered with mud, <laughs> it hurt. It got a braiding. <sighs> guy down there on the rivers they start screaming oh hell yeah it's mud wrestling time Woo! <laughs> and you guys know me it takes it takes a lot to make me turn red you know I turned red because you know I like I like uh, you know I like to have attention of course like most people on uh, YouTube but not that kind <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, too much. Anyway, I'm enjoying a little chooch out here today. Georgie's getting a good walk. They have really made a lot of progress on the uh, housing over here. We certainly need it uh, post fire. We lost 6,000 homes 10 months ago. 10 and a half months ago, and only, only something like 900 building permits have been pulled. So. We got a long way to go. Anyway, it's times like that on Sunday. I wish I had a much I wish I had a much bigger ass for better padding. <laughs> we'll see. You guys know me though. I'm gonna get that baby as big as I can get it. Alright, happy uh, happy Tuesday to you guys and thanks for choochin' along. A little bit of this and a little bit of that in the hood.